Clements Ferry Road is becoming a hub for families looking for a place in the low country to call home, but the traffic it's brought to the area is raising com some concerns. Our Caitlin Ashball reports. Brooke Cribs and Janie Carswell travel Highway 41 in Clements Ferry Road daily. They talked us through what that looks like. People now speed heavily, they tailgate you. Um, it's it's just insane when you're driving through trying to do your normal errands and you've got to like be a, def a super defensive driver. Both have multiple teams out on the road, which amps their concern. I'd already taught her the defensive driving, you know, to what to do because there are so many accidents at that intersection. Both the parkway and highway are becoming a host for new businesses and housing. Neighbors say the amount of traffic it's created doesn't fit with current road conditions. It was a time, like I said, where it was only a two lane highway on Clemens Ferry, and a lot of the times it was so backed up, I couldn't even go 526 that way. With the expansion of, 40, of uh, Clemens Ferry, that it would be great, except for it hasn't kept up with the growth. Cribs is talking about a county widening project that's finishing up. Other improvement projects are in the works, like a permit application from DHEC to reduce traffic congestion on 41. We all want this, the growth and the expansion of Clemens Ferry to make our lives easier. We are essentially landlocked with these bridges around us. Neighbors say the area needs street lights and signage at smaller roads like Reflectance or Halfway Creek, so it's easier to navigate the parkway at night. Others would like to see more law enforcement presence. There need to be more solutions put in place to reduce the risk to our to the community. Reporting in Berkeley County, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News.